Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. It is the Monday Mayhem Wrestling Wrap Up. I am Mike Sorgat, Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios. Just me and Wicked the Podcast Dog ready to talk about, well, you know, it's been less of a wrestling show in the coming weeks, but hey, here we are. Uh, thank you, everybody, joining us in the chat room right now. I see uh, out there our buddies Dave Potter. I see Alex from out in California. I see uh, Brandon down in the KC. I feel like I feel like the children's show was like, I see you, Jimmy, and you, Kayla, and you, Bradley. Uh, anyways, <laughs> uh, and everybody else, Tina out west as well. Uh, thank you for joining us on our our, our Monday hangout uh, of sorts and of a wrestling sort of pretense. <laughs> <laughs> with the first of all from his bunker in beacon new york the only mayhemer with the future endeavor letter for the wwe it is mad mike door guy breaking wrestling news what's that due to the injury suffered by apollo cruz he is out of the men's room what it's almost like Apollo Crews doesn't have enough star power or something. It's almost. It's, it's like, jeez. I mean, what what have we been doing the last two weeks with him just to do this? What is this? I, I know. It's like, or, or, you know what it is. Hmm. Someone's winning a title at SummerSlam. Oh, this is his This is his journey? Yeah, for the U.S. title. This is his journey to the U.S. title at SummerSlam? Yeah. The, the summer's hottest party in a yeah. warehouse? Provided SummerSlam is still... <laughs> Provided SummerSlam is still in the Performance Center and not in a place where people won't actually pay to see Apollo Crews. Mm. Hey, hey, be, be nice. Apollo is great. He I'm just... Sorry, I'm not saying he isn't, but people ain't going to pay to see him. And if everyone is back, you know they're going to put someone else in that spot. No, oh, Anyways, I'm just glad that he's getting some TV time. I hope he's making the most of it. Uh, he got to cry on air tonight. Yeah, that's that's always worked wonders for baby faces in wrestling. They it's love always crying on worked. air. Really? They, really? Yes, sure. Name, name one instance in where that's worked out. Uh maybe Ooh. I should ask our other co host for or co guest for tonight, Nick Vera yeah. from his uh uh bunker wood shop uh somewhere in Pittsburgh. Hey. How's everyone doing? Hey. Uh Edge when he retired. Uh, that didn't work out for him. He had to ooh, leave. Ooh, both Shawn Michaels and Ric Flair during WrestleMania. Yes. Well, Ric Flair was a heel. Oh, oh, the match. Uh, Nia Jax when she won her belt at WrestleMania. Oh no, neither of them ever won another title after that match. What? Neither of them ever won another championship after that match. What? Flair and Shawn? Yeah. So, wait, is that our is that our bar right now? I'm just saying it's technically true. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait I mean, wait. it's not it's not a false statement. No. But no, After, still. That's kinds of statements. What? Didn't, <laughs> didn't Sean win the tag titles? Nope. Before he retired? No. Not likely. No, I, uh -huh. I don't think so. It was only a couple years later, I thought. I thought he went into him and Taylor. Yeah, because WrestleMania 24 was, I'm sorry, I love you. WrestleMania 25 was, I'm sorry, I can't beat you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> 26 was, I'm sorry, I really can't beat you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then 27 was, I'm sorry, I can't help him beat you either. <laughs> <laughs> wow, and that's uh, and that is Mad Mike's uh, latest latest traveling road show when he can I, travel I can again. Michael's entire career in I'm sorry, blank, blank, blank. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like his like his first like 92 Rumble. I'm sorry, I barely know you. He super kicks Ric Flair two minutes in. Hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah and he totally whiffs on it oh so you yeah. tell me wow wow yeah. so th this just closes the entire loop from 19 are we just wait wait are we going deep diving again like we did with sean last week with undertaker yes basically Hash what i'm saying is Shawn michaels is the real undertaker <laughs> that's a theory okay okay all right i don't know Sorg, I've been in the house way too long. 
Hey, you know what my good for is for this week? And actually of Raw tonight, because that's the majority of the wrestling I've watched because everything else has been YouTube clips. Because I just can't right now, guys. I just can't. <laughs> I just can't right now. I just oh, yeah, I don't blame you. I, 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 the only joy I'm finding is in these creative side endeavors, the little bits and pieces I'm getting from indie wrestling videos that we're making, and and that's all I have, right? I, I mean, I got, I got other stuff, but we're having some fun with some other projects. But, uh, uh anyways, but uh, uh, Samoa Joe, yes, was a welcome, God, so return, sorry. yeah, you know, and and we literally got like we got Lawler for like a minute. And that was God, it. Just Lawler, stay the fuck away. It is. It is like, <laughs> like honestly, make Lawler the new backstage correspondent. <laughs> no, I'm dead, I'm dead serious about this because those are heavily produced, heavily scripted. That depends. And that depends. He does have the panache. Can Apollo Cruz also hit on him? Yes. Okay. Mm. It's 2020, yeah, baby. And, Let's do this. And, and but see, the, here's the thing: Apollo's too old for King, so mm. it wouldn't work out. Wouldn't work out, but okay. you know. Okay. I mean, for a multitude of reasons. We just went there. <laughs> we go a lot of places on this show. Um, <laughs> also, I have to say, so happy to see Ginger back. Uh, there's no longer a hindrance for the gingerance. No hindrance for the ginger. What? Gingerance. Gingerance. Yeah. Gingerance. gingerance. Uh, which I consider, I like you. Like I'm sure you first saw when you saw that moment in the 1992 Royal Rumble where that would end, uh, uh, like some 20 WrestleManias later. Uh, uh, I I see this as the beginning of the uh, build up and start of the hottest feud of 2020. The 3MB explodes oh, in Lord. Gender and Drew. Mad Mike, I am so ready for this. That's Lord, my summer. Not- that's my SummerSlam match. Lord, you're not thinking fourth dimensional. <laughs> I'm thinking two dimensionally, no. to be honest. No. So you have to think fourth dimensionally. This is the start of the hottest feud of the fall of 2025, where it's a triple threat. WWE champion Jinder Mahal versus Universal champion Drew McIntyre versus Heath Slater. Um, bring it all around. Title unification. <gasps> they bring it. Uh. They bring the band and the universe back together. Yes. Oh, Mad, uh, Mad Mike. Mad water. Mike. I am shipping your fanfic. Yes. Thank you. Welcome to my TED talk. Yes. Well, side and, note. Uh, and Hornswoggle is the referee. Side. Side <gasps> note. Side note. Uh, fe- uh, side geekiness. Uh, because I know we'll get some more geekiness. Speaking of fanfics, I watched a wonderful episode from season one of Big Hero Six, where a fan did fanfics of the Big Hero Six. That can in the real. show. Hmm. That would get really unnerving in real life. It did, and there was a real night, real life kind of crossover things. Um, okay. Um, but yeah. Anyways, uh, so so <laughs> Tina says we have to pe- catch you up. I think we just did. Samoa Joe, um, uh, uh, blessed us with the commentary in his sweet, sweet Samoan tones, and um, and uh, and and Jinder was on there, and um, the Viking. And Ray- happened and you know how that ends contract a very confusing triple threat that wasn't a triple threat happened with uh the the raw side of the women i mean the bank uh things just now you just beat everybody up before the bell but there was no referee in the ring as if the referee didn't expect anything to happen oh i mean did you mm. Mm. sorry mm. now i'm also saying it's a lego show so i feel like i need to move on up oh uh, is it time <gasps> is it done already steamboat willie Motherfucker! <gasps> oh my god, god. that is more that... amazing than I expected it to be. I, I be want to see the, Do you see the smoke sacks? Yeah. Oh, they move. They move. They move. And yes. and look, there's actual string. There is actual string on here. I can crank it. Mm-hmm. I can crank the cord, and there's so string. Functional. It's so functional. It's great. Look at that. Um, it, it did point out on the box that it will not float. Damn it. Aww. Wait, have you tried but, it anyways? No. Uh, Mickey has Mjolnir. What? He has me. I'm not sure if you can see it. Uh, there is there is Mjolnir up there. See a bucket? Oh, there he is hanging on the, on, hanging on the, wall. On the wall. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He has Mjolnir. I'm like, I, I'm worthy. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> 
I that guess was actually pretty spot on. on. Thank you. I, I, trust me, I, I worked in Toys R Us way too long to not have a solid Mickey Mouse impression to fuck with little kids. I'm more along the lines of Elmo and tripping them if they're bad. I didn't say that. That didn't happen one time at a Walmart, I swear. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, actually, I actually announced the store was closing once in Mickey Mouse's voice. It, it was already after we had been like thought out and everything, so I'm like, what are they going to do? Fire me? <laughs> <laughs> For copyright infringement? You know. Uh, yeah. nope. Oh, no, nope. Not there. Uh, D- Disney Disney is more than willing to buy me. <laughs> I, I will show all of their shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag didn't Mickey. Oh, shit. This, this is the stand it comes with, so I can put oh, Mickey nice. in. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. If I like it, I think I'm just going to keep it like this. Mm-hmm. <sighs> that's nice. That's nice. Well, while yeah. you're you're going on to your hobby, uh, Nick, you you started a hobby as well. I did. Mm-hmm. I I make things out of wood. Yeah. Um, These have been. I, I've, I've I seen made... them on Facebook. They look really good. I don't know if they're going to translate too well on the video here, but you... I don't know. Oh, that I, one does. That one pops. I am in love with that. That that like, Spider Man is great. So, I love so it. Nick, so Nick, you're sending that to me as a belated birthday gift, right? Well, actually, I already got somebody who wanted to buy it. So Fuck. I, I kind of. And then um, I'll give you so much less money for it. I'll give you so much less money for you. (laughs) (laughs) I hate you so much. That tracks. tracks. (laughs) Um, no, I was, I was talking to Quinn, uh, Quinn Magnum, and uh, it it seems that he's gone underground, Mm -hmm. and so have many other people. But uh, I, I, I worked out this design for. For it nice. and that's so, gonna be the next project. it's looking better so, now than it was in pre-show by the way <laughs> well yeah uh, i, I think haven't sketched out on the wood i just it's just yeah. not visible yet mm-hmm. no Give but it it, seriously, seriously that spider-man one is fucking awesome mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. thanks i can make you one if you want i need to see what my finances are going to be like soon <laughs> right, we'll, hey, we'll hey, figure hey, out hey if nothing else mike does have a wedding coming up so Hey, the wedding saying, gift. Just saying. There you go. There you go. There you go. Okay. Much love. We may have to get some uh, commission or two for the studio as well. So uh, I'll, I'll have to think about that. But uh, yeah, <laughs> what we can get. But <laughs> hey, we already we already have a flag in Animal Crossing. So oh yeah, we do. We do. So there's a, the merchandise is everywhere. There's a flag in Animal Crossing. There's um uh there's there's uh oh, what was Matt doing that we were uh, there's a there's a Lego he, Sorgatron media. He made the studio yeah yes <laughs> with no remote matt what where is where is the lego mad mike on a screen <laughs> huh? you, you just have to give me a spider-man body it's fine mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. find a white dude with brown hair and give him a spider-man body <laughs> i'm fucking hard matt yeah that, that, that definitely in fact tracks. guess what peter parker is a white dude with brown hair <laughs> well hold on hold on it depends what universe you're in because i finally just watched what is it spider-man into the into the spider-verse what or into the the... yeah i finally just watched that the and other then day you ask yourself what have i done with the last two years of my life oh, and now this well, podcast yeah. just turned into a two hour long one since we we're gonna get on this well i'm so... i'm so in love with that movie and it turns out they're making another one mm-hmm. so like when life goes back to semi-normal and it's in theaters. And can I just say, and I'm just going to go off topic here for a second. I don't want life to go back to normal because (laughs) before all this shit happened, people were so fucking shitty towards each other. And now I've noticed like not a huge difference, but like a, like a subtle difference of like people actually kind of being kinder to each other because they don't want to get the, the Corona. I can't be politically correct. I'm sorry. Well, no, uh, it's no. Not see, my here's what you want to do. When things go back to normal, normal, normal. Yeah. When, when when we establish a new normal, if you want it to continue like it is now, you just need to walk around with a mask and a sign on that says "I have Corona," and people will be very nice to you, and they will stay the fuck away. Well, see, isn't it so messed up, though, that – and it's a wrestling show, but anyway. By the way, um, if you do that for too long, people are going to be like, just take care of yourself, you damn anti-vaxxer. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why 
second part of that plan. You can't go to the same places twice in the same calendar month. Yes, yes, right. That too. But like six months ago, the words "get the fuck away from me" were not considered as politically correct, and now it's like six feet away. Back the fuck up. Like, there's... That depends on your perspective. Wait, are people saying that to you? Because it's a lot nicer sign in, in the front of the sheets. No, see, <laughs> I okay. So I was at Aldi the other day, and this guy was just like he was not accepting the whole thing of social distancing, mm-hmm. and he was just right up on my shit. And I, I just turned toward him, and I felt like one of them shitty people because I was like six feet, motherfucker. And then he just looks at me, and he's like, "Well, my bad, man." Takes all of his stuff and goes to the next line <laughs> they don't tape there what they don't have like tape they had the tape lines they, okay. they had blue lines dude's, on the ground dude's just ignoring the lines yes he yeah. wasn't wearing a mask either yeah no he uh, wasn't yeah yeah, yeah. It, it was that before they were uh, actually ejecting people for that die anyway might as well make it quicker <laughs> <laughs> wow by the way have you guys all been um taking your daily shots of bleach Oh, uh, okay. No. Moving on. Moving on. For the anime. What? Anime. Have you Oh, the anime. anime. It's a very... Yeah, actually, that show will help you uh, oh. stay inside, which is going to exactly. help you inside. That's what... Okay. See? Sword God. Damn. <laughs> Coronavirus! <laughs> <laughs> My nieces have been saying that all throughout the house. Just <laughs> randomly. <laughs> Like 11 B, o'clock in the morning, I'll be laying there. Coronavirus! I'm like, alright, I'm up. Let's she go. says it like a fucking Harry Potter spell, and I'm in love with it. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, for reference, if people don't know what's going on with that. Uh, Cardi B was talking about coronavirus, and that's how she said it. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then, and then she followed up with, shit is real! Shit <laughs> is real! But that's not as funny. Unless you just go around like, like, like picture, like picture Harry Potter getting ready to drive away all the Dementors, and he just goes coronavirus. <laughs> it's fucking perfect. Oh, you gotta think of all the good times you have with your friends. You say coronavirus, and you'll summon a giant hand sanitizer that pushes away the Dementors. Huh. <laughs> so that's how we protect ourselves that from the coronavirus. Right. That's not. That doesn't feel completely wrong. It's not inaccurate. No. <laughs> Jeez. I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. I don't even know. Anyways, what this shit. Uh, there was a, <laughs> there was like a good conversation. Uh, hey, I say good one. Uh, I, I, somebody talked about how the empty arena match is a completely dead thing after this, and I say no. Oh, that's not true. No, no. It's just when if you do it, creative. it's gonna be a it's gonna be a Corona era match. I mean. <sighs> Corona Carnage. There you go. Like oh, oh, there you go. There's a lot we could do with this. There's a yeah. lot we could workshop with this. Hey. Customs have been around for how long now? What's that? You know what I mean? And those customs mm-hmm. for any shows, they're empty arena matches. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, WWE's just kind of bring yeah, in it that's more like, to the forefront. That's, that's that's different different an, empty arena, an empty arena yeah. in the Staples Center is way different than an empty arena inside the performance center. Mm-hmm. But there's so much more room for activities. Exactly. Because, spoiler alert, the performance center is not an arena. No. It's a center. No. It's, it's, a, it's a glorified Gold's Gym. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, like, let's get real. <laughs> I'll roll that back for a minute. Triple H had, I, I, I was catching his interview with uh, Corey, and they talked about the early days of it, and, and kind of, like, it was actually interesting because there was the timeline, you know, he talked about at least his view of the timeline, where that you know how they ended up with like you know these these empty arena shows with WWE and everything and um he talked about like walking in there and i guess it was like some old like i don't know thrift shop or something that he was talking about uh when they were looking at the building and there were just like shelves like all the way to the ceiling and the entire thing so it was just kind of like a it was a pretty wild look back at a, a you know what was going on with that it's definitely recommended the uh oh what is the Corey Graves podcast called Absolutely. Uh, after the bell. After the bell. Thank you. Thank you. It's that I have not listened to that since like episode two, but I am fully caught up on a new day called podcast. Oh, jeez, Freddie Prince to... Jr. Yeah, Freddie Prince Jr. is great. Yes, I need to listen to the Tyler Breeze one. Oh, I haven't cut that one either, but I have been. Day, I, think. I have been on Mike's recommendation, get catching up on the uh, Battle of the Brands. 
Yes! I, I'm probably about five or six episodes in. I, I'm up to a point, and I love how dated this is because I'm going through, and and uh, it's just, the one where Sasha Banks first pops up, and uh, it, and it's they just had the brand split again, and they uh-huh. just separated them. <laughs> yep. So, Mike, Mike, it gets good after this? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's it's fantastic. And okay. just wait, just wait till you get to the first Saudi show. Oh no. Because Sorg, they taped legit about twelve episodes in a row. And I think I think Woods may lose every single one of them. <laughs> the inside <laughs> joke of everybody knowing what he's doing wrong and he's the only one that doesn't know what he's doing wrong. Mm-hmm. I cannot wait for this to catch up. Uh, so they're playing manager mode um, on on here uh, competitively between Tyler Breeze mm-hmm. and and, and uh, Xavier Woods, and uh, they'll bring in somebody else to like maybe make a match or something. Uh, uh, <laughs> and they had um they had uh help, help me out here, British fellow from Two Hundred Five Live, I, uh, Jack Alder. Jack, Jack Alder, thank you. Um, it was on it for the first couple, and it was it was wonderful. And then you'll just see like, and here's Tony Nice wandering in, and here's Michael oh, Bennett yeah. wandering in. Yeah, like there, there's a like when Zelina gets on. Oh, brother. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I love how they like like Sasha Banks was on this episode, and, you, and she really just wandered into the episode. Yeah, basically, because <laughs> what they what they have to do is they find a place, and especially like you'll notice uh, later in the series, they're pretty much doing it at pay per views. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's when that's when both brands are together. Well, well, even where they're at, they have a black backdrop, but in front of them is apparently I don't know a locker room or common area or some yeah. uh, something, and people yeah. keep asking them what they're doing while they're they're frantically trying to get their five minutes in for uh-huh. this uh, manager mode setup. So it was kind of, it, it's kind of fun to see. It's because it's in the infant stages of up, up, down, down, where they don't have a designated room now for this shit. Oh. So, so, yeah. So like, you see, you see the, so I'm, I'm, I'm seeing the, I'm going to see the progress of up, up, down, down through this. Yes. Fantastic. Catac- and then when you get to season two and they have promos. Hmm promos they build storylines <laughs> oh my this god this is fantastic this is fantastic nick, nick, if you want if you want something to kill time mm-hmm. just just go to battle of the brands start from the beginning <laughs> walk all the way through the, the first season is mm-hmm. 52 weeks long oh my god yeah. oh because wait they really did a, they did a whole year holy shit i got a long way they, to go yeah yeah, the first episode is the Raw after Mania. I mean, they're all like and roughly they, ten to fifteen minutes each, so I mean, guess it's not so bad. But get a little longer. What's that? Some of them get a little longer. Oh, really? Like, wow. And when they get to the Royal Rumble, they actually watch the Royal Rumble. What? Oh. They watch. They they instead of simulating the match, they set it up where you can watch the match. Yeah, because, because they have a bet. They have a bet on which oh. brand wins the Rumble. That's got to be torture, though. Mm. No, it, it, it seems fun. They're doing commentary on it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, anything's better than 2K's commentary. Speaking of video games yeah. and 2K, we got our, uh, the official preview we saw on social media. I know uh, Riz was sharing it around earlier today, uh, but we got it on the show tonight. The um, the the WWE 2K Battlegrounds, which um, which I, I, I think Nick, you said you you kind of threw it akin to the um, NBA Playground. Yeah. Yeah. Which actually that is my good of the week because WWE 2K21 got canceled. Yay. I can't be happier about that. Mm-hmm. Cuz they need time. Why? Cuz 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 you were going to buy it anyways or I was. I was going I I'm sorry, I can't help it. So mm-hmm. this year I will be getting 2K Battlegrounds. Mm-hmm. And I am going to play that till my heart's content. Seriously, I I might and I can't I I last bought a game first run not long after it came out probably wwe 12 really yep i still gotta get zach hunter 13 because he's been asking for, well he asked me for it a couple shows ago and I kind of, is, it, is that the cm punk one that is that is the cm punk one mm. something about that's the last one that the good creative superstar was on mm-hmm I don't know. I fidget with everything. I think after that, that's when they started adding NXT mode. And also, oh. that's still THQ, isn't it? 
Yes. Like it's not 2K uh, yet. Well, yeah. technically WWE 14 was the first 2K 14, but it was the last one under the, uh, THQ. They still had semi rights to it. Mm-hmm. So or, it was like a mid launch transition into 2K. So so it's more like a um like they took over the project from THQ because THQ went bankrupt. Like, yes. Like it got so they basically like the instead of um um when they went from like say a claim to THQ it's a mm-hmm. whole like it was we acquired you not licenses done you start over with your own engine right kind of situation exactly so because um oh i just totally lost my train of thought that's okay oh when THQ went under and they were trying to figure out who was going to take over the WWE games and they were showing all these different perspectives the best one i saw and i thought they should have did it was rockstar Mm -hmm. that would have been awesome and then transition those moves like saints row did into the game of grand theft auto could you imagine being somebody in grand theft auto and just walking up to somebody and suplexing them you know what i would love i want a telltale wwe game yes oh man too bad too bad telltale is pretty much done Um, i know i know it is but like if they ever come back and I want just to be focused on like one person, mm-hmm. like, like give me the career of the Undertaker. Telltale Games. That'd be amazing. So, so going back to this, so like, we were talking about before, they did not mention what console it's on. It's no. kind of a more arcadey looking uh, version. I would akin it a little bit to the WWE Immortals for the craziness, and uh, but it, it looks well, like you can, you can feed John Cena to a crocodile. Which yes, I'm pretty sure it was a deleted scene from the Marie. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and then the crocodile explodes, and then you move on. Um, cool. Yeah, it's I, I love the look of this. Um, it's it, I mean it's very stylized. Um, I love. I, there's already videos. WWE fans hate the look of this. It's like. No, there will be fans that hate it. Cause... I, I don't know if I like the glowing Super Saiyan auras. <laughs> I don't know if I. I don't know if I. That's. Uh, I mean, that's. Well, I mean, it's. 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 It, yeah. It's. It's like a power and mode. It looks very Tekken to me. Um, but uh, you know, it, it looks fun. It looks different. I love WWE All Stars. I love the WWE Immortals game that was on a uh, uh, mobile. Like this wild thing going on. Uh, you know, I'm I I seriously as long as everything pretty much holds up, like I'm down with this. I, I'm actually looking in the fine print to see if they mention anything about uh. I just uh, hope the, the switch is good. So wait, two K is the t- switch. Yeah, I, I hope the port on the switch is good because mm-hmm. I I want play, I want to play a wrestling game on my switch. Oh yeah, I don't blame you. Because then I can just play it anywhere. Um, have uh, they've been releasing for the Switch, haven't they? Or have they been? Oh, yeah. They have yeah. been. They've been the shit. Mm-hmm. They've been fucking god awful. Like even the decent yeah. ones have been terrible. Hot garbage. Oh jeez. Oh yeah. Because the, because the transfer doesn't work. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's it's like they rush everything into it. Yeah. And then the game lags. Mm-hmm. It's super bad. Um, <laughs> I guess or that. So I feel like what because I know we were talking about like the women kind of look weird. I, I just think they look stylized. Everybody's kind of got a big head mode, you know, uh, to it. That that's what I kind of make it think it looks like. I don't think it's a fan. Oh, the the baby comparisons I saw on some memes were kind of uh, <laughs> entertaining. Um, but no, I, I what I feel like happened. They designed starting with the Rock and John Cena, and this is what they look like with big heads and muscles. And then we made the girls look like girls, like body wise. And maybe it got a little weird, um, but no, I think I think it looks fine. It looks fun, and I, I can't wait for it to get out there in the fall. I got something to look forward to in the fall, other than Halo. I, I right, have, I have something else to look forward to in the fall, and that's Time Lord Victorious. <laughs> yes, that's the only thing you're looking forward to in the fall right now. Well, I mean, I'm waiting to see how everything shakes out before I say my wedding. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. There may be a short ceremony and their reception coming later. Yes. I don't know. I am ready for Mad Mike's empty arena match. Uh, 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 empty arena wedding, y'all. Uh, empty arena wedding. Mad Mike's with, empty. With Selena Vega as the officiant. Uh, uh, Mad Mike's empty arena match made in heaven. Huh. Damn it. <laughs> 
<laughs> Mike, this is a thing now. I mean, I mean, remote oh, weddings are happening. Yeah. Remote uh, uh, ceremonies for graduation are happening. Like people are specializing in this stuff. And sword, sword, sword. Do not wrap a snake in a box. What? Why oh, would I do that? I, I hate snakes. I couldn't even get. Not, why would I? I mean, is that a service? Is, can I go sword, online and get that sword, ordered? Sorg, do not gift wrap a snake in a box. Hold on, Carol a, second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Like, I need to make a Google search. Oh boy. Um, snake in a box has a service. Uh, you probably want to put your safe search on for that. Stinky box <laughs> urban di- dictionary. Mm, I don't think that's what we're talking about. No, snake no. in a box, not stinking box. Sword. Snake in a box as a service. Snake in a box. Oh, that stinks. Um, no, no. Come on. Work with me. Sorg. Snake Sorg. in a box as Sorg. a service. I'm telling you, I'm you not to do this. Why are you mm. Googling how to this do this? This is the internet. Do, do, do. Snake in a box. Electrocuted snakes. Whoa. Ooh. Oh, man. Oh, 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 I mean. <laughs> Bad See? part of the internet right now. Oh, this is your oh. problem. Well, now I'm going to get snake ads. It's going to piss me off. Um, yeah. Have fun, Facebook. Have fun. Have fun. Jeez. No, but I just don't. I don't want anyone to to Jake Roberts the reception. That's what I was referencing. Sorry, I, I was reference, referencing wrestling. Yo, oh, I thought man. you were referencing like uh, Tiger King. No, Joe Exotic is not allowed anywhere no, near. No. My no, we are we are firmly planted in 1992 in our references on this show. Okay, um, well, I'm gonna have to take myself back a little bit. Yep, yep, yep. Hey, that's what you got Pretty the WWE okay. Network for, right? Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hashtag snake in the box is a service. Hashtag I'm sorry, I barely know you. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that for? Shawn Michaels, 1992. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I barely know you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I barely know you. I'm uh, telling you. I'm telling you. When when you leave this, fire up the network, fire up 92 Rumble, or hell, just YouTube it. Whatever. As soon as Shawn Michaels comes in, he clears house and he goes for a super kick on Ric Flair, but he sets up exactly like the 24 one. Exactly like it, except he misses, and it's like, I'm sorry. I barely know you. I'm doing this real quick. This isn't even my finish yet. <laughs> You know, I, I, I'm going to go with 1992 was peak WWF. Like, it was the peak before the fall, right? Well, yeah. Yeah, because that's right before, like, Raw. It's right before and Raw. Be- and with, and no, and with Raw came a lot more people leaving. Mm-hmm. Go to WCW. That's when Macho left. That's when Flair left. That's when Hogan left. Mm-hmm. But you had that, like, 1992, you had Flair. You still had, uh, you had Macho Man. You had Hogan. You had uh, Sid Vicious was starting in there. Um, Piper and, and Hart had their matchup mania. Like, that was, that was the, as a, as a growing up 80s into 90s fan, that was the best time. It was, like, the culmination of so much right there. Before yeah, everybody but- just went away. <laughs> Money calls. I mean, Undertaker it's... debuted that year, didn't he? No, that was ninety-one. No, that was ninety. That was ninety. Mm. He was almost the Eggman. He was almost the Eggman. Anyways, okay, uh, guys, is there anything else we need to touch on before we get out of here? I feel like I'm just wandering down this uh, hallway uh, of wrestling and random. I watched a TV show this weekend. Okay. I feel like I need to tell people about um I'm a little late to the party on this apparently. Okay. Um uh the fiance and I binged a Netflix series in about nine hours. Mm-hmm. Called, called The Circle. I haven't seen it yet. Okay. Um it's a fascin it's a reality show first and foremost. So. Oh, I saw a trailer for this. Yes. Yeah. yeah, so if that's not your cup of tea. You, but you can tune it's out. a social media reality show. It's a social media reality show. It's fascinating. Mm-hmm. Huh. It's also terrible in all the ways reality TV show <laughs> TV shows are. Yeah. But the twist is they don't see each other in person. Oh no! This has been growing. 
wait a minute. The, wait a minute. Don't... So there's no. there's the circle. There's the circle Brazil, and now there's the circle France. I didn't know. I watched it. There was only one. That was two months ago. Yeah. Um, but there are <laughs> a lot also of things happened during Corona. There are also people who are catfishing on the show. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I saw uh, that from the yeah. previews. Yeah. I mean, it's it, it if you if you let, let me put it this way, you're quarantined. Mm-hmm. You're not leaving your house. <laughs> yeah. Not and it's other people quarantined it, it, on social media. This could be happening that, for real right now. You can kind of identify with them. And I think that's what happened to me. Because I the fiance had on, I would watch for a little bit, and I'm like, oh okay, this is kind of weird. And then like seven hours later, I'm like, oh my god, who's gonna win? Like it's, um it, it just it's fun. It's fun, it's mindless fun. And honestly, really? it's the length of two and a half raws. Mm-hmm. What are you really doing with yourself? Like, so, skip, wow, wow. <laughs> you put that uh, context. Honestly, honestly, skip two and a half raws and watch this instead. I watched the entirety of Picard this weekend, and it was like, oh. it was, yeah, again, it was like two and a half raws in the yep. long run. Okay. Yeah, or see? WrestleMania. <laughs> well, that's two nights now, so. Well, um, uh, well yeah, yeah, yeah. It ain't going to be any more. Despite what people say, because there's no way that no. you're getting, there's no way that you're getting two four-hour manias next year. If it's two nights, you're getting two seven-hour manias. <laughs> don't give Here him. You go. Don't give him the permission. That's the thing. I'm, not, I'm just. Don't that's the reality. Him. That's the reality. I just dropped the circle. <laughs> I, I just dropped the circle lineup over on Slack, Mike. If you want to explain it to people when they ask. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Sure. In fact. I really wish we could do this as a podcast. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. Well, we got time. And we're trying out all kinds of things lately. Mad yeah. Mike. Hi. Uh, tomorrow we are uh, scheduled to have a, a special new guest for the Wrestling Mayhem show. One Aaron yeah. Kleiber. He's a comedian from here in Pittsburgh. And his, I heard he his... likes to fight children. What's that? I heard he likes to fight children. To fight his... children? <laughs> Yeah. Hey, you told me to do my research. I did my research. Oh, did you did you watch it? First thing I saw, he said he wants to punch his baby son. <laughs> I'm like, okay, he's Shit. gonna fit right in. Well, I was gonna invite him back. He's just been on Awesome Cast before. We did some stuff with Jagoff a couple weeks ago, and 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 I was I mentioned the wrestling show. He's like, oh, I'd love to be on there. I'm like, oh, well, I was gonna invite him back on the Awesome Cast, but yeah, let's do this, man. Uh, so uh, so he's free tomorrow night. He's gonna join us for uh, at least the first part of the show. Well, uh, you can see, uh, as I was saying, you can see his special grown ass dad over on Prime Video. So please go do your research. <laughs> By the way, watch it. Uh, you know, help 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 somebody out. And while you're there, go check out uh, Magnum CK's Magnum's Opus over there as well. Um, and uh, and 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 that's going to be some fun. And we'll see what other truth or theories in wrestling that we come up with. Oh, sorry, we have so many. Because are you you are you still contemplating your Undertaker truther? No, I'm not contemplating. I'm I'm accepting it as a hundred percent fact. Oh, okay. Oh, I can't wait for the bumper stickers on your pickup truck. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hashtag not my taker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nick, did you did you listen to I, any I, of the, the the truther stuff from last week? I I know we had a video clip going out around about it. A little bit, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I've been I've been trying to stay off social media though. Oh, yes. As much as I can, other than posting shit. Mental I'll health. I'll post and I'm like gone. But <laughs> start a fire. I get he lights, for lights it on fire, walks away. So basically, yeah. you're a digital arsonist. Yeah. Basically, okay. that's that's how I feel. That's how I feel when I drop that post about what will social media, what will pro wrestling be after social or with social distancing if it doesn't go away. And man, man, I even I think Lord Zoltan commented on that. To be honest, I didn't even know he was in our group. Hmm? I'm telling you, once you get to season two of Battle of the Brands, social distancing matches can happen. Mm-hmm. Oh, I saw a video. It was fantastic it made no sense mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but then it made perfect sense yes and i was just like mm-hmm. wait are you talking uh-huh. about the janelle thing are you where, where what did you see there was this uh, it was it was just an indie ring and two guys mm-hmm. six feet away mm-hmm. wrestling each other yeah and doing bridges and just 
weird shit that you would think that you would need human support for to do and i'm just like yep. i'm 280 pounds and we'll never be able to do quarter that's that. that's the i think that was the general show that that they did right before everything got <sighs> locked down um fantastic so it was amazing <laughs> some really good stuff uh nick you of course like we saw earlier in the episode you got some wonderful woodwork that you're doing you are an entrepreneur of sorts now um where if, if people are interested in your in your talents your certain certain set of skills um how can they get a hold of you uh, you can find me on Instagram at that one guy from Pittsburgh. Um, you can find me on Facebook at Nick Farah, and then I am going to be starting a uh, Facebook page mm-hmm. called Scrap Designs by Nick. And uh, basically, it's because all the wood pieces that I use are all scrap pieces of wood, and uh, it's personal because even a scrap piece has purpose, like me. I like Yay, it. Yay! Depression. Like it. <laughs> <laughs> something you got everything has a story you're gonna tell the stories on there along with it yeah excellent i love it i love it uh there should be an instagram with that too by the way yeah i'm going you, to you did used to have an instagram yes uh thank you everybody that's been joining us in the chat here tonight this late it's oh god it's midnight uh yeah. we will be back like i said 9 p.m eastern time for a wrestling mayhem show check out all the great stuff over at sorgatronmedia.com just posted new uh bardic mystery tour thrifty podcast which the cover is Chuck E. Cheese. I can't wait to dive into that one. And um, Comic Book Pit. That cover is all about B- Batman and DC uh, DC Digital first, Mad-, Mad Mike. So you might be interested in that. So please go check all of that out. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Mayhem out. Wait, just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Wait for the perfect time to attack. Don't give up what you want. Take it back. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.